Well, it's a good day for democracy, one would say, because at the end of the day, there are no questions being raised about the fairness of the process in either state. But the question, the refrain that has come in from the Congress spokespersons here has been the fact that a campaign like AK to Safe Hair ended up polarizing the majority and bring, um, bringing in negative and divisive politics. And, that it is, and it's, if this is a victory for the Mahayuti, this is a victory for AK to Safe Hair, it's a victory for divisive politics of a hate negative campaign here. Yeah. How would the BJP counter this argument? Firstly, I want to say that एक है तो सेफ है में क्या गलती है? अगर हम सब एक है, हम हम मतलब उन्होंने ये तो नहीं कहा ना कि आप हिंदू हैं तो एक है, मुस्लिम हैं तो एक है, सिख हैं तो एक है, हम सब एक हैं, हम हम अब हमारा दुश्मन कौन है? हमारे पड़ोसी हैं? हमारा हमें हम एक है तो सेफ है इसका नेगेटिव वो भी लिया जा सकता है लेकिन आप कोई 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 आ let, let me give you time. But a simple point. Are you seriously it's saying that AK to Safe was not referring to just the majority community and to all people? Are you seriously saying that AK to Safe was not referring to just the majority community? आपकी बात को मैं मानता हूँ मैं भी एक मुसलमान हूँ अखिलेश से मैं भी belong करता हूँ मेरा आपको यही बोलना है कि देश के प्रधानमंत्री की संकल्पना यही है कि मुसलमान के एक हाथ में computer हो एक हाथ में कुरान हो okay दूसरी बात coming back to this आज अगर आपने कोई भी मौलवी को कोई भी जिसको उलमा बना के जिसका नाम भी किसी ने सुना नहीं था कभी नोमानी या कोई भी और आपने अगर ये रिप्रेजेंटेशन किया कि भाई इस विधानसभा में इसको चुन कर लाया जाए उस विधानसभा में उसको चुन कर लाया जाए इस चुनाव इस विधानसभा में इसको गिरा दिया जाए तो ये जब चीजें अगर आप यू नो ये दर्शाते हो तो यू आर यू आर नॉट यू आर नॉट डूंग पोलराइजेशन और अभी तो छोड़िए आप अभी हार हार गए तो ईवीएम टैंपरिंग हो रहा है और जीत है तो जनता का कॉल है तो आपके दोहरी नीति का ही तो कारण है कि जनता ने ये जवाब दिया है करारा और पिछाड़ दिया आपको आपकी जो नीति है ना देखिए आज आज जो है आपने लोकसभा में जो भारी जीत हासिल की हमने उसका अभिनंदन किया हमने आत्म आत्मरक्षण किया अपना और उसके अलावा जो है जब आपने देखा होगा कि फेक नैरेटिव जो है मराठा आरक्षण को लेकर संविधान को लेकर जबकि संविधान जो पेपर वो दिखा रहे थे जो किताब वो दिखा रहे थे उसके पेपर भी पन्ने भी खाली थे तो आपने वो उस उसके बल पे लोगों को बेवकूफ एक बार बनाया आपने आसिफ जी आई वुड लाइक टू इंटरप्ट यू वंस अगेन माय अपॉलॉजीज द द करंट चीफ मिनिस्टर स्पीकिंग आसिफ जी आई एम श्योर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एकनाथ शिंदे स्पीकिंग लेट्स लिसन इन बिफोर आई कम बैक टू यू सर जॉर्ज इयरफोन लगा भाई हम्पिंग मेजोरिटी मी अगोदर पास संगत हो तो हम्पिंग मेजोरिटी मिले खर मे लैंडस्लाइड विक्टरी अशा प्रकार विजय महायुति मैं ज्यादल तमाम मतदार के महाराष्ट्र मनापास अभिनंदन करते मजा लड़किया बहनी जी मनापास अभिनंदन करते लड़किया बहनी मोटा प्रमाण मतदान के लड़किया भावानी मतदान के लड़किया शेखरान मतदान के लड़किया मजा ज्येष्ठानी मतदान के समाज प्रत्येक घटक ने यठिका भरभर महायुति लंतदान के गे दोन अड़ीज वर्ष जे महायुति ने काम के काम की पोचपावती हाँ निवकी जनते दी मनु महाराष्ट्र जनते मी पुनः एकदा मनापास आभार मानतो मनापास धन्यवाद देते कि पूर्णपने जे काम आम्मी के अच वर्षा मधे मोदमाप नोंद नोंद काम की पोचपावती या महाराष्ट्र जनते ने आम है खर मे आता आम्मी अच वर्ष जे काम के आता पुढ़ी पूर्ण कार्यका आम की आखी जबदारी वाड़ी है और जनते त्रिवार वंदन करते मजा सर्व कार्यकर्त्या देखी महायुति का मनापासन धन्यवाद देते महायुति के सर्व कार्यकर्ते मनापासन काम करते विजय 
who have worked hard for the win. धन्यवाद देतो की खूप मोठ्या लीडने मार्जिनने त्यांनी मला विजय करण्याचं काम करतायत आणि त्यामुळे मी पुन्हा एकदा सगळ्यांना मनापासून खूप खूप शुभेच्छा मनापासून सगळ्यांचं सर्व मतदारांचं मनापासून अभिनंदन महाराष्ट्र एकनाथ शिंदे addressing a uh, camera person saying that we have got a landslide victory which is yes the fact is that they have got a landslide victory here and on that note let me get in my guest who is maine kaha tha ki mahayuti ko thumping majority milegi aur isliye main tamam matadata jo hai meri ladli behnao ko main dhanyawad deta hu ladle kisano ko main dhanyawad are bhai hai लाडले सीनियर सिटीजन है सभी वर्ग जो है सभी वर्ग को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि उन्होंने ऐसा ऐसी विजयश्री प्राप्त कर दी है कि न भूतो न भविष्य तो ऐसा ऐसी विक्ट्री जो इस बार मिली है जो दो ढाई साल हमारे महायुति ने काम किया है ये महायुति ने जो काम किया है उसके काम के ऊपर ये जनता ने शिक्का मुरतब किया है काम को तोज्जा दिया है प्राथमिकता दी है और इसीलिए महायुति को इतनी बड़ी जीत हासिल हुई है इसलिए मैं महायुति के पूरे महाराष्ट्र की जनता को तो धन्यवाद देता ही हूँ उनका स्वागत करता हूँ लेकिन महायुति के सभी कार्यकर्ताओं को भी धन्यवाद देता हूँ उन्होंने जो काम किया है बहुत ही बढ़िया काम किया है और इस चुनाव में हमारे महायुति को जिताया है इसलिए मैं बहुत बहुत उनका आभारी हूँ All right, let's go now to uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar Jha, who is, of course, our guest who's joining me from the Victoria Shiv Sena faction. Uh, 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 I beg your pardon, Doctor. Mr. Chandrasekhar Jha is joining me at this point from the Shiv Sena UBD faction. Uh, Chandrasekhar Jha, thank you for speaking to Miran now. As we see the victorious Shiv Sena, the, power, the leader who bears, bears the mantle of the Shiv Sena playing. and bears the mantle of the shiv sena asif ji if you can mute your camera i think it's a bit prob distracting at this point to uh, chandrasekhar ja is this now a quest test of survival right now for the udhav faction of the shiv sena because you have been routed you have ahead in just 18 to 19 seats the man who who you claim stole the party from the son of bala saheb thakre is on his way to becoming chief minister or deputy chief minister at least for the second time Is this now the biggest challenge Bala Udhav Sahib Thakre has ever faced in his career? See, the elections uh, show the uh, way that whether the party has uh, the level of confidence or not. So we expect that there is some kind of introspection which is required in in the party. And further, uh, I would like to add on to this that uh, now the elections does not have any moral ethics or. any kind of ethics being carried on so this introspection should also be done because if we see the elections in maharashtra uh, what has been carried on by the ruling uh, dispensation that no moral no ethics nothing has been uh, categorically been uh, done by them or they have Uh, attach themselves to the such what, moral what ethics what what is i I, i would like you to be specific mr ja what is this lack of no morals no ethics at this point because unfortunately to our viewers this may come across as sour grapes it is not a close election where allegations of evm tampering or some fraud malpractice can be leveled here a landslide victory of 4 is to 1 what is see, the lack of morals lack of ethics you are talking about sir see, the 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 party was broken up and it was broken up by bjp it is very well known how it has been done what was the condition what was done but eventually if we see that now nowadays elections does not have uh, happen on the basis of any moral ethics the we did not expected any sympathy from anyone but we expected that this kind of result would not happen and uh, there was uh, cash involved in the vote and everything shows that, that there is no moral or ethics is left in any elections so we should in, introspect on such aspects also and eventually we will accept the challenge 
let us let us not get into the uh, feeding that uh, after five years uh, or uh, after four years we are over or in these elections we are over but we'll come back and we'll give a fitting reply to this uh, uh, non availability of moral and ethic elections and we'll come back that is the major portion Let's... which we want to stress on but i i still fail to understand there was apparently a lot of sympathy for Uddhav Sahib six months ago, a lot of sympathy for Sharad Pahar Sahib six months ago for losing their parties. Suddenly in six months, all the sympathy has been lost. I do have follow-up questions to you as well, Mr. Jha, but let me bring in Dr. Uday Nirgudkar. I have not gone to him for a while. Dr. Uday, do you see that the writing is on the wall now for at least the Shiv Sena of the UBT faction, if not the NCP, the Sharad Pahar faction? Because it couldn't be a more stunning, a more decisive mandate. For the record, even in the Lok Sabha elections, the Shinde Sena got more seats than the Uddhav Sena at this point here. Do you now see that the two Senas will now merge and perhaps Uddhav Thakre will be left in the dark? I have exactly 10 points to make and allow me a couple of minutes to explain these 10 points to our audience. Number one, currently now, the UBT spokesperson said that we accept this decision. Sometime back, their own spokesperson, the Vishwa spokesperson, in fact, was saying we don't accept this. At least now, after a couple of hours, they have come to a conclusion and terms with the reality of life that they accept and they want to build a party. But please understand, both the Thakre sons and Skions are at this point of time trailing and I hope they do better and they make it uh, bright for their parties. But at this point of time, they both are trailing. Number three, you talked about sympathy wave for Uddhav Thakre in Lok Sabha. Please understand, in 2014, all parties fight separately. Uddhav Thakre gets 13%. When they hmm. fight together with BJP, they get 18.5%. And in Lok Sabha this time, Ekna Chinde of those That's votes true. walks away with 13.5% votes. If the sympathy was with Uddhav Thakre, how come it is not reflecting in the number of votes they have got? Please understand, Ekna Chinde has not only walked away with the symbol, with the MLAs, with the Nagar Sevak, with the member of the parliament, with the party cadre, but with the voter also. And that is evident from this election. And that is evident from this voting. What, BZP, what Sena UBT need to do is a straight introspection. Will, they, will, will people accept them hosting Ajahn Spardha? Will they accept Janab uh, Uddhav Thakre's slogans? Please understand, their forefather, who once was not allowed to vote for championing Hindu cause, and here you are coming out and uh, championing the exactly 360 reversal. They need to do introspect. More importantly, they will have to make efforts to keep the flock together. Keep the flock together, not for lure of any ED, not the fear of any ED or anything. Not the lure of power, yeah. but simply losing the ideological sight and the focus. That has costed them dearly, in my opinion. Please understand, those who were in power with you, those who were in power with you, left their plum positions in the uh, ministry to go and uh, be with the BJP when they didn't know, will they be able to form the government or not? Why they risk their life? Why they risk their political career? They risk their life and political career because they saw the ideal deviation. They saw the denial of association with BJP that was paining their future. So what they need to do is to get their house right and ideological corrections done immediately. Same goes with NCP, okay. Sharad Pawar Ghat. Unless they get their act together, their flock will also disperse ASAP because they come with their fiefdoms. Unke education institutes hai, dairy hai, sugar factories hai. Ye sara ecosystem chalane ke liye, unhe satta ki zarurat hai. They will not be able say, to survive without it. As they say, Dr. Uday, politics is... As they said, Dr. Uday, politics is often winner-take-all and you have made some very scathing points which I'd invite Mr. Jha to respond also. But Asif Bamla ji, I think, wanted to make a point. Asif ji, wanted to come in? Asif ji, I think you're on mute, Asif ji, now. Sorry, I was talking about you on mute, but now you're on mute. Sorry, sorry. So, uh, <coughs> during the Lok Sabha election, bolye, bolye. the false narrative hmm. that was used but for the marathas for uh, 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 you know the the for, for for all that they did 
in the, the last election. This time what happened is the, the BJP, the, uh, the Mahayuti, you see, they were able to correct many shortcomings and the follies that we had. While, uh, uh, while you know, the confidence of the uh, Mahavikas Agadi was uh, so high after winning the Lok Sabha elections, and they went on total uh, different dizzy. Why, we, on the other hand, were concentrating on ground, on grassroots, to to ensure okay. that jo kamiya hai usse puri kari gayi. Or hamare hi hamare hi yojanao ko kharij karke galat batane ka prayas hoon. Me kya ja plaatin plaat ki pehna hi to, jisko hum bada credit dete hain, jiska hum samman karte hain. Or wo yojana jab humne lai, to ye kya re udhya baat re. Or wohi yojana aap dene ki prayas kar re ho. Agar sarkar me aoge, dubna karke. So, aap karo to thik hai aur hum kare to galat hai. So, this is something which, uh, you know, uh, 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 which is something that the people will not bought. And let me tell you, this election is going to set that, tonality and narrative. That criticism that applies to you. Ravri culture ka talk, Ravri culture ka term to Pradhan Mantri ji ne talk coin kiya tha. Uske baad Maharashtra Sarkar khud Ravri dene lagi. So, that criticism can apply to you also that when others give Ravri, it is accused of free. Humne, humne jahan jahan diya hai, तो परिस्थिति संभली हुई है उनके अपना राज्य देखिए आप कर्नाटक में क्या हाल है उनका ही अपना खरगे साहब कह रहे हैं कि ये जो सुजाता जी वेरी क्विकली डू यू वांट टू कम इन बिकॉज़ आई आल्सो वांट टू स्टे ऑन द लार्जर पॉइंट अबाउट द फ्यूचर ऑफ आपने जो आपने जो फ्यूचर ऑफ उदय सेना सुजात या यू नो सुजाता जी एक 20 सेकंड रिबटल एंड देन आई विल मूव यू नो आई हर्ड मिस्टर भामला टॉक अबाउट एक है तो सेफ है कटेंगे बटेंगे यू नो हिज नैरेटिव इज सो वियर्ड because if you uh, if you heard uh, pankaja munde and uh, ajit pawar ji both of them said ki katenge batenge yahan nahi chalta and he is saying ek hai to safe hai was not for polarizing ek hai safe hai was only are nahi but sujata ji see see sujata ji see at the end of the day it doesn't matter what ashok chavan ji what with what pankaja munde felt na Clearly, the no, no, people of Maharashtra exactly. resonated with that slogan, which is why this no, is the no, mandate no, we're seeing. No, 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 no. Let me. So they say that we are so fragmented. Second, the second, second. Listen, I didn't speak in between. No, no. Fragmented. Mr. Bhavna, मुझे तो बोल लेने दीजिए. आपके बीच में तो एक. अच्छा, आसिफ जी, आसिफ जी, बोल लेने दीजिए. आसिफ जी, बोल लेने दीजिए. आसिफ जी, बोल लेने दीजिए. सुजाता जी को. बोल लेने. सुजाता जी, make a question. Yeah, yeah. And he was saying that false narrative about Marathas. No, there was a clear divide between. The Marathas and OBC that they were trying to create between tribals and Dhangars that they were trying to create. These are all facts. We also saw we know Tabre and and the videos which came out. We also saw how uh, the uh, ED etc was were used. But if I give you a few examples in Nagpur Central, BJP candidates were openly campaigning inside the polling booths. But uh, you know action was not uh, taken promptly by the EC. Uh, if you uh, remember in Parli also CCTV cameras. Uh, at a po polling booth were turned off and uh, there was fraudulent uh, voting uh, allegations at that time mba workers were uh, you know uh, physically intimidated in dharavi congress workers had caught uh, shinde siv sena uh, agents distributing uh, voter slip uh, uh, you know with the candidates photos and uh, party symbol outside the polling booths and this was a clear violation of the ncc but no Sudhata action was ji, taken with and all due respect sudha ji with all due respect yeah. i am not invalidating your charges at this point i am not invalidating the things which you're saying all i'm saying i'm no sophologist but to my understanding and i have been doing this for 15 years now a landslide victory like this cannot be attributed to four or five incidents of electoral mal practices this is to use a word we have not heard for the past very few elections a wave election this is a wave election is that we possible? saw in 2014 no, 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 no. and 2019 albeit at no no so uh, tell at, me at, at we, this a is a wave, wave election no, 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 i will no, no, get no. the listen listen psychologically psychologically speaking we all know that after a state votes in uh, one particular election immediately after even after 6 to 8 months that particular party which has won clearly has an edge but does it have an edge it's not in power so there is no anti incumbency in no, no that's not so that is that's not happened in 2018 so in 2018 your party won rajasthan madhya pradesh no no once again in 2018 your party won rajasthan madhya pradesh chatisgarh 2019 six months later the lok sabha elections gave a different picture in 2020 in 2023 the bjp won so, rajasthan madhya happened. pradesh six months later it was a different picture in 20 in 2024 your lok sabha elections 
skills. You won, you swear, you did very well in Haryana. Two months late, two to three months later, in state election, there has been a different trend. It's it's not a guarantee that a party which does well in the Lok Sabha elections or the election just a few I months agree. ago is replicating a performance in election just four months later. That has not been the trend. So that can't be this thing. The other no, thing no, which I, I want to bring in Chandrasekhar ji at this point is the, the point which Dr. Uday was making. Let's be evident that in the last five years, there has been a 180 degree stand in the optics, in the politics, in the stand which Uddhav Di has been standing for. I'm not making any moral judgment on good stand, bad stand, but change has happened. And which is why even the most ardent fan of Bala Sahib Thakri, even the most ardent Shiv Sainik will say that this is not the brand of politics which Bala Sahib espoused at one point. Now, I understand politics needs to evolve, political messaging needs to evolve. But at the end of the day, is Uddhav Sahib facing is being rejected again and again because he has strayed away from the brand of politics Bala Sahib was being known for. Is this not a question which Uddha Sahib needs to introspect? See, all in introspections are required to be met but uh, eventually if you see uh, this election has been categorically on the basis of the development infrastructure, it was not so. It was basically on the basis of uh, slogans being raised by uh, BJP. And on that basis, the elections have been swayed upon or the wave was created that this kind of situation is in prevalent in Maharashtra and therefore such elections have to be done and the so voting has to be done. slogans can backfire. Char so, char so par backfired. India shining backfired. A slog a catchy slogan, I mean, a, a catchy slogan does not ensure electoral victory. It is no. about countering narratives and maybe the yes. opposition failed to counter yes. the narrative. Yes, that narrative, the countering the narrative was not done properly, first thing. Second thing is that in democracy, the parties which are uh, counting on the votes or the a religion or on the basis of caste or on the basis of creed. So this kind of politics are very basically, uh, if you can say that it is a very battling situation for all the parties and this kind of politics should be avoided. But eventually what has happened that the votes have swayed in favor of BJP on the basis of narrative which was created by Mr. Modi and Adi, uh, Aditya Yoginath and that narrative continued in the election and that swayed away the complete votes in favor of themselves. Now, the third thing is that eventually if we see today, okay. uh, yeah. we did not expect these results. And eventually that is a, a very much surprising to us. And eventually we have uh, not seen such kind of trend. But eventually, Eknath Shinde winning such lot of seats uh, with the help of BJP because there was a uh, complete cash being involved in the voting and everything. So this kind of narratives does not work in politics. Sooner or later, this will again change in Maharashtra. And we see that after a certain period of time, this narrative will be again changing. The narrative which will be bringing by us, brought by us, okay. will be... Dr. Uday uh, having... wants to come in at this point. Yeah, five Dr. Points. Uday wants to come in at this point. Dr. Uday, please make your point. Five, five points I would like to make. They said it's a fake narrative. Well, there will be local self-government soon in Maharashtra. Prove it. Not that the BJP did not left so many loose balls for you to score. The onion was a loose ball. Cotton was a loose ball. Soyabean was a loose ball. You didn't score. And you also gave so many loose points. And BJP scored a sixer on each and every ball. Be it vote jihad. Be it differences in you. Be it connecting with the Ladli Bahana. You first said it's going to be a revdi. And then another you said that we will give 3,000 rupees. Well, 1,500 rupees is a burden to the kitty. And 3,000 is not going to be a burden to the kitty. Please understand the flip-flop you made. Hope okay. in local self-government soon to happen. You improve and prove that this was a wrong decision taken by the people. Most important point, and please hear me, and this is for the democracy. Most important point I'm making is I see most of the Congress big wig losing. Hope they make it to the House. But if that doesn't happen, then the fire in the opposition, the voice in the opposition is going to be completely marginalized and weak and fractured to its best. And that's going. That's not going to be good for the okay. democratical uh, thing. Most no, importantly, the BVA, where okay, the cash, BVA, where the cash 
cash transaction allegedly supposed to have happened with Vinod Tawde, all the seats they are losing. They made four and a half hours of um, um, Pipli live of the entire episode. Nothing worked out for them. Most important. No, no, Doctor Uday. Again, Doctor Uday. I mean, if there is, if there is a, if there is an election malpractice, it needs to be flagged up. Doesn't mean that somebody who has won or somebody that that victory disvalidates, uh, uh, invalidates a serious accusation or an allegation that was People seen. People did not there endorse it. There is another it, very important point. sub point here when it comes to okay. alliance. People did not endorse it. That's the point. I'm not saying important that would not have happened. People did not endorse it. That's the point. Okay. No, it proves that that worked. It proves that that money he was throwing around worked. Exactly. Hello? I mean, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a very dangerous trend. We cannot take Janta's verdict for a law, for a clear rule this breach. So, uh, for a case of rule breach. That's what I'm saying. There this is another one second. One second. I, I need to I need to Jharkhand pivot a bit Mukti to a Mocha. very important. There's there is one second. There is. Okay, let's not go back to 1991. There's a very important plot point which I want to discuss right now, which is how the alliance dynamics work. Mr. Uh, Dr. Jha, before you joined, we were having a very very important statement coming in from Sujata Paulji that perhaps the Congress needs to be given the due respect it deserves. After Haryana, we had Priyanka Chaturvedi ji from your party coming out and said that the Congress needs to take its allies more seriously. Had it taken smaller parties on board in Haryana, the picture would have been different here. It needs to let us take the lead here. We are the stronger parties in Maharashtra. The Congress needs to take the back seat at this point. Is, If I'm not mistaken, Vinod Tavde is speaking at this point to speak of the man himself. Let's... alliance शिवसेना ये नाम भाजपा के साथ मेनस्ट्रीम में ले आए तो लोगों ने उनको भी बहुत अच्छी तरह से उसका स्वीकार किया ये आज दिखाई दे रहा है मुझे लगता है कि बिहार में चार में से चार जगहों पर एनडीए आगे है उत्तर प्रदेश में छह जगहों पर एनडीए आगे है और राजस्थान में चार जगह पर आगे है तो देश में ये बता रहा है कि देश की जनता का फिर एक बार आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी पर उन्होंने अपना विश्वास जताया है आपका सवाल यह होगा कि मुख्यमंत्री किसका होगा कौन होगा तो एकनाथ शिंदे जी देवेंद्र फडणवीस जी अजीत दादा पवार और भाजपा का केंद्रीय नेतृत्व साथ मिलकर इस विषय में निर्णय करेंगे और आपको बताएंगे आज महायुति विजय का जश्न मना रही है और महाराष्ट्र की जनता को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद दे रही है जोर तोड़ की सरकार पॉलिटिक्स हैव बीन रिजेक्टेड Quickly coming back to Chandrasekhar Jha to rephrase my question here because I don't want to repeat a very long one. The fact still remains: Did the NCP, SP, and did the Sena UBT underestimate the Congress? Because at the end of the day, the Congress seems to have done as well as the UBT or as poorly as the UBT. The strike rate is the same. See what has happened basically in this election: the regional parties having a strong hold in the states have to be given preference. And that preference, if not given, then the whole thing goes for toss. And in every election, if you see assembly elections, Lok Sabha elections is something else. But in assembly elections, it is with regard to a certain state. And that state is having certain kind of policies, certain kind of geographical indications and everything. So these have to be countered by the regional parties. You have to leave it to the regional parties. Otherwise, what will happen? There will be a tussle. There will be a, some kind of difficulties. There will be... A, uh, uh, other chances of getting it for a toss. So that that has to be considered by the Congress. And Congress has to give those upper hands to the regional parties in respect of the assembly elections. And that is why what has happened in Haryana has, has so been you would you agree? Here also in Maharashtra. Uh, and yeah, Haryana, like if said, Congress would have uh, would have, yeah, have a better like I said, scope uh, 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 for as far as the Congress Party is concerned, we believe in democracy, which is not something that the BJP believes in. And we have always respected the federal structure, and that is why when uh, this. Uh, no, no, Sujata ji, why I take. Uh, no, yeah. no, 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 Sujata ji, see. Let me finish. I, 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 I'm, okay, okay, complete it. your point then. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah go yeah, on. I will give you point complete, but Zabardasti ka pot shot BJP ka out no, of nowhere. No, no, no. 
No, no. What I'm trying to say, of course, that's a fact. But uh, as far as we, are, you look at how many seats the BJP has contested on. So as far as we are concerned, we always respect the federal structure, and th this is something that was being spoken about. You said Priyanka Chaturvedi said that, but a lot of the media people also were saying the same thing, right? And we do respect regional parties, and we did give them space. But like I said, it is for the regional parties to realize where uh, the Congress, uh, especially in Maharashtra, if you look at it, the, it's very clear that BJP and Congress, these are the two parties which stand completely opposite to each other, which can never come together. And, uh, you know, on some of the television channels that I've been on uh, since the morning, early in the, in the early morning, uh, what was being said was that you never know who is going to go where, except for the Congress and the BJP. So what I'm trying to say is that in every state, it is for the regional parties also to uh, realize, decide uh, whether the Congress needs to be given more space, because sometimes the... Uh, uh, a national party can kind of build a narrative that they are going to stand firm against a particular kind of narrative and that might work. But here we need to make a lot of analysis because like I said, muscle power, money power has been used, voters list uh, disenfranchised so many people, the tribal, the minorities, uh, the Dalits. And that, that is where we need to get our act together to ensure that people whose names are being removed are put in place and that is what uh, you know I okay. think Okay, so uh, now tell me one thing. Let, let, yes. You said, let you me, said let the Congress it. party, so Yadav, you said that the Congress party... Okay, yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead Mr. Jha. Uh, let me clear it out here. What, what basically the BJP was doing, BJP has placed many candidates against who are the regional parties with them. The candidates have been placed against the opposite party. Uh, parties who are the regional parties on the in the opposition and those uh, strategically being done by BJP by placing all the regional parties in a uh, fight and in the votes so that that has also created a uh, basically a strategical advantage to the BJP so and see Mr. Jha, Mr. Jha and Sujata ji, see here is where I want to make an interjection here, which is why I had an issue with that pot shot at the BJP. You have to give the credit where it is deserved. Even now, when they are won, I have tried for the past one and a half hours to ask the BJP and the Mahavik Mahayuti a simple question, who will be the chief minister. We just heard from Vinod Tavre also. The response coming is more or less the same, that today is a day for celebration. We will decide who has to become chief minister tomorrow. In contrast, this morning or even in the run-up from the exit, from the day of polling till the exit poll, there were already differing voices coming in from the Agadi as to Udavji will be chief minister. No, Nana Patel, someone from the Congress will be chief minister. No, someone from the NCP, SP will be chief minister. So the reason why I say is, you can say that the BJP does not have democracy in India, something at the end of the day, the NDA does not have so many differing voices within itself as to who will be its chief minister candidate, even before it reaches a point where it will be a chief minister, where it can have a chief minister of its own, which we've seen that again and again in the Mahavikas Agadi. Let me now bring in the third aspect, the third dimension of this Mahavikas Agadi. Advocate Fezan, Mr. Uh, leader of the NCP Sharad Pawar faction is joining me. Advocate uh, Mr. Mirza, uh, I hope you can hear me. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us on Miranov. We are having a fascinating discussion as to who has let the Mahavikas Agadi down the most. And from the looks of it, in terms of the strike rate, in terms of the total number of seats polled, it seems to be your party. How would you respond to that? Advocate Meza, can you hear me? All right, I think we're having some problem connecting with Advocate Meza at this point, this point uh, but let me get in. So, can I? Can uh, should we? No, no, but yeah, yeah, so I'm, that's my point, Sujata Paul. Sujata Paul ji, yeah, 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 Sujata Paul. Yeah, yeah. What about Hemanta Biswa? Yeah, you know, it's very important to talk about Hemanta Biswa, Sarma, because uh, when Katinge Batinge has worked in Maharashtra, Katinge Batinge has not worked in uh, in um, uh, uh, Jharkhand, and uh, the Guspetia hasn't worked over there because the Guspetia is only one 
एंड घूस किसके पेट में गया दैट इज मिस्टर अडानी दैट इज नॉट वर्क इन झारखंड एंड वी मस्ट नॉट फर्गेट दैट हिमंता बिस्वा शर्मा वॉज टाउटेड एज द एज एज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट लीडर्स ऑफ बीजेपी हु इन डिविजिव पॉलिटिक्स एंड सक्सेसफुलट इज अबाउट एवरी चैनल वो सेट्स टॉक अबाउट हेमंत सोरेन नो नो ओके नाउ माई पॉइंट इज now my point is you said that when it comes to when it comes to taking on the bjp the congress is the only anti bjp force and regional parties need to re- realize this my point is ultimately what matters is performance and look at the congress's track record from 2014 to 2024 it's been 10 years since mr modi stormed to power the congress has not returned to power in any state by its own it's not come back to power by itself in any state which it wants whether it be punjab whether it be rajasthan whether it be madhya pradesh whether it be chatisgarh all the states where the bjp has lost twice or more where the senior challenge to the bjp has been a regional party whether it be delhi whether it be tamil nadu whether it be west bengal so at the end of the day if the congress does not show in terms of its track record that it can beat the bjp and keep beating the bjp why should regional parties not be given that chance no but uh, how can you say that about uh, chatisgarh and rajasthan of course we did come uh, come there right and the bjp was in power since 2014 so that's not the correct thing to say but uh, uh, having said that the congress party has seen what the bjp has been doing to our leaders and don't forget the way the uh, the shiv sena and the ncp were also uh, literally broken up uh, and uh, the the narrative said was that the natural alliance of the bjp was with shiv sena but shiv sena went uh, went its own way and that is why they uh, broke it out but uh, tell me what happened with ncp what kind of natural alliance was that they were accusing ajit pawar the first time they made him uh, swear uh, in as the uh, chief minister uh, in okay. at midnight koshyari ji decided that he was going to be the chief okay. the second time he was accused of corruption and he was taken into the bjp and made the deputy chief minister so let's get one thing straight that politics in india is no longer clean and no matter which strategist sits here and smiles and says that oh all is well and everything is good let's understand that politics is going down the drain when uh, when you okay. talk about the BJP. jp because they will uh, they will use every trick on the sun and in, no matter how much we bring in positive politics we will be targeted the moment we make a small mistake because we are not in power right but this is a democracy all right. and we learn from our mistakes all right all right down. sujata ji i'll just have to take a some time out at this point i'll just have to take some time out at this point and get in daniel francis on phone bo- board daniel francis for our viewers is is a political brand strategist uh, someone who was an advisor to the shiv sena eknath shinde faction daniel francis uh, thank you for speaking to me now the question to obvious question is at this point how did i mean how clear evidently the narrative to frame eknath shinde ji as the obvious and more natural heir to balasaheb thakre has been created here is that now a big win for the eknath shinde camp because it is now positioned itself effectively not just with the party name not just with the party symbol but also in terms of results that it is the real successor to balasaheb's legacy and not udhav the legacy debate is uh, now finally settled of course it was settled much earlier because a party that uh, is winning with the help, uh, with, uh, with the votes of uh, the congress party the original votes of the congress party is not the real shiv sena the party that gets the original vote that shiv sena voted uh, shiv sena got when balasaheb thakre was uh, alive that is the real shiv sena nevertheless uddhav thakre's uh, party is uh, not even crossing the 20 mark and we are going to touch the 60 mark very soon and this debate is now settled forever uh, uddhav thakre is paying a price for going with the congress and its allies and compromising ideologically this is not just a win uh, which is an ideological win for the party this is a, a a moral win for the party this people have finally said that the dhanushya ban belongs to eknath shinde it looks go- good in the hands of eknath shinde and he deserves to lead the the the, the balasaheb shiv sena now forward so this is a moral victory and also of course people also need to know what they are and getting out of this does it deserve to be chief minister uh, also mr francis does it deserve to be chief minister mr francis he obviously deserves to be the chief minister because if he was not in the in the, in the, in the equation the narrative that changed from lok sabha 
We saw how the BJP and uh, uh, other allies in the NDA performed in, in Lok Sabha in Maharashtra. And if Eknath Shinde, the most popular face, every every survey, whether it is a survey that no, uh, but you Mr. know done by Mr. Francis, the point, Mandan. Daniel, the point is. Daniel, the point is, at the end of the day, the BJP has won twice, more than twice as many seats at this point here. One can understand that the last time, one of the conditions for Mr. Shinde to jump ship in terms of giving him job security because he was leading his traditional party was the chief minister's post. But surely, if you look at the seats at this point, half of this stunning mandate has gone to the BJP, which is almost close to winning majority by itself. I see, Isn't I this see a mandate your, for a BJP I see chief your minister? Point. I see your point. I see your point. I'll tell you something very interesting. In 2019, uh, Mr. Uddhav Thakre and BJP had split the seats by almost half. We gave the BJP around 150 or more seats. We concentrated on 85 seats. Okay. There was a lot of we uh, a lot of understanding and a lot of wisdom in doing so. BJP is also winning the kind of seats that they're winning. If they would have got around 125 to 130 seats, these numbers wouldn't have the, uh, have uh, we, they wouldn't have been able to reach. I'm not taking the credit. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I don't see the point in what you're saying. Whether who will become the chief minister, the NDA will decide. The NDA leadership will decide. But for 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 the party, yes, and, and that has been the refrain. I'll just like to point out. I, I'll just point out at this point that the strike rate of the BJP is more than that of the Shinde Sena here, even then. So it's not it, the BJP is still maximized more seats. However, speaking uh, of the BJP, Fadnafis' first reaction has come. He has reiterated his AK to safe slogan and he has hailed Prime Minister Modi for the landslide win. He says Modi hai to mumkin hai and he's also spoken to Eknath Shinde and Ajit Pawar. Let me go across to Arunil who's joining me live at this point. Arunil, all eyes are on Devendra Fadnavis. He's been credited as the local hero of the BJP, bringing the state back to, uh, bringing the party back to power. And given that the sacrifice he made by taking the deputy chief minister's post here, the speculation will mount as to whether he's the natural chief minister face of the alliance. Arunil. Well, that is right. Uh, basically, we are keeping our eyes on Devendra Fadnavis's residence only. Several key leaders basically going inside. Uh, be it Chandrasekhar Bhavankure, the Maharashtra BJP chief, Union Minister Piyush Goel, uh, Rahul Narvekar was also inside. A key meeting being held. We also understand that Home Minister Amit Shah basically congratulated Fadnavis for this massive victory of the BJP. BJP's best performance till now in the history of uh, Maharashtra polls. Now, whether the BJP will be going for uh, the crucial CM post or uh, whether again uh, they, they will be compromising and uh, giving it to CM Eknath Chinde because our reporters have also been speaking to the Ajit Pawar faction as well. Ajit Pawar's leaders want their uh, party's supremo, that is Ajit Pawar, to become the CM of Maharashtra. So yes, the race clearly is there uh, within the Mahayuti uh, uh, till now, but with respect to the numbers are concerned, BJP more than uh, 125 is very, very significant. If the BJP really wants, it can just take its uh, independent MLAs because many of the independent MLAs uh, support uh, the BJP. They can form the government uh, 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 on their own as well with the help of uh, the independents. But it doesn't really look like on the ground the BJP is going to uh, keep uh, uh, Eknath Shinde as well as Ajit Tawar uh, under consideration. This is a massive, massive setback for uh, the Mahavikas Agadi. I was speaking to some of my sources within uh, the Congress party as well. All of them okay. are basically saying that during the seat sharing meetings that were been taking place, Uddhav Thakre, uh, Uddhav Thakre's leaders, particularly Sanjay Raut, was very, very aggressive. They took our uh, seats where we were basically uh, favourites to win. We had our uh, strong party base as well. An example of uh, Solapur was also being shared and uh, clearly a, a blame game has basically materialised now within the Mahavika Sagadi. Blame has been particularly been pinned on uh, Uddhav Thakre. Both the Congress and uh, Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena have been uh, traditional rivals. This is the first state elections that they were contesting together. And it is a massive setback for the Mahavika Sakari. Indeed, Arunil, thanks a lot for joining us. As they say, to winner goes all the spoils and losers find excuses. But this is a more nuanced worded than just winners and losers at this point. Asif Bamlaji.
the fact still remains कि आपने एक precedent set किया मिस्टर भामला I hope you can hear me uh, आशिक जी precedent एक बन गई है by making the ally with the smaller ally number of MLAs the chief minister and the larger party taking the deputy chief minister post ironically that is what Uddhav ji had wanted in 2019 अब having to reach a situation where obviously Mr. Shinde will not want a demotion and I have also here Mr. Ajit Pawar, you just heard one of our senior reporters saying that Ajit Pawar saying that if Shinde ji can become chief minister, why can't I be chief minister? And on the other hand, Fadnavis ji to logically saying that he took the, he took a setback, he became deputy chief minister, he still held on to the alliance, he still led the power to victory. So, ये खिचड़ी अब आप कैसे सुझा रहे हैं अब ये मत बोलिए कि हाँ देख लेंगे मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में सब हो जाएगा। I still don't see any solution to this mess। देखिए last time जो परिस्थिति थी, if you remember, we were on a very different situation. We had got the mandate, okay? It's not that we had not got the mandate. वो लोग कहते हैं कि भाई पार्टियां तोड़ी गई। अरे हमारी सरकार और सत्ता तोड़ी गई आपसे। हमें तो लोगों ने चुनके द बहुमत हम दोनों को दिया था और आपने जाकर उनके साथ बैठके सरकार बने तब आप 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 आपको ये एहसास नहीं हुआ नैतिकता का ठीक है आपने क्या ठीक है उसके बाद भी in that two and half years that we were not in power all the plans policies of developments also that in the interest of the state were all put on the back burner be it the metro be it your infrastructure project so just to put the Bharatiya Janata Party down, see, all the plans were closed to an extent that the Bharatiya Janata Party was left to no choice. So you are saying, Asif Ji, Asif Ji, I am not negating your point, but time come here, so I don't want you to be cut short by a commercial break. So I am just wanting you to come to the point. Paristhiti was more than that. आपने I understand you saying that परिस्थिति उस समय कुछ और थी आपने इसलिए उस समय चीफ मिनिस्टर को स्वीकार नहीं दिया आप परिस्थिति बदल गई है नहीं होनहार लीडर देवेंद्र फडणवीस जी जैसे को had to step down not for his own self he was not keen to even take the deputy chief minister तो दिल्ली से आला कमान से उनको instruction दे के आपको लेना ही पड़ेगा वरना वो उनको कोई लेने की परिस्थिति में नहीं थी � इसलिए कि राज्य का बेहतर हो और आज वो परिस्थिति दिख रही भारतीय जनता पार्टी को कि फिर से डेवलपमेंट फडनवीस जो है ये देवेंद्र शर्मा फडनवीस जी की शक्ल में आए उभरकर और इस राज्य की बात को संभाले और इस राज्य को न्याय दे आज ये ये कॉल मेरा आपका नहीं है ये 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 राज्य की जनता का कॉल है आप कहते हो कि शिफ्ट जो है वो वोटर का लीडरशिप का है। शिफ्ट दिस इलेक्शन अप्रूव्ड। आप इस पार्टी को लेडीज़ एंड जेंटलमैन, आई हैव टू टेक इन अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक, बट व्हाट इस व्हाट वी हैव सीन इस क्वाइट मोमेंटस। वी हैव हैड टू, वी हैव हैड and thank you, firstly thank you Daniel Francis, Asif Bamla, Sujata Bawal, Chandrasekhar Jha and Dr. Uday for also joining me. But it's very significant here. We have had guests from the Shiv Sena UBT, both political and also someone who understands the strategy very well saying that Fadnavis, uh, that as big brother BJP should let Mr. Shinde become Chief Minister again. We have hired a leader from the Maharashtra BJP saying that this mandate is clearly for Mr. Fadnavis to be Chief Minister. We have had a senior reporter saying that now Ajit Pawar says that everyone's getting the chance, why shouldn't I get a chance to be Chief Minister as well? The picture is not over. The verdict below your screens might give you a very clear mandate and it is a mandate for the Maha Yuti at this point. But remember five years ago, it was also a clear victory for the alliance which had fought elections together. But that would, did not remain. That alliance fractured, and we saw unprecedented turmoil in Maharashtra elections. Picture is not over. Picture seems to be over in Jharkhand, where the JMM and Congress alliance is on its way to a simple majority. The picture is over in a lot of IPOs, including Vyanad. We have not discussed this, but Priyanka Gandhi is heading for a record victory in Vyanad and making a parliamentary debut. But the picture is not over in Maharashtra. Here, the numbers are just the beginning. Who gets the chair remains to be seen.